Oh, uh, uh, really? No. Do it. No. Do it. Ridiculous. <laughs> I'm wondering where we're going with this. How do other musicians even talk to you? Why are we in black? What kind of show is this? You're totally inspiring. I got hotel keys in every pocket. This was a Beachcombers episode. You ripped this off. <laughs> you are watching Stripped Down. You are watching Strip Down, Saskatchewan's only one-hour local music showcase, the award-winning show that brings the venue to you in the comfort of your own living room. I am your host, Curtis Anderson. Really excited for tonight. This musician is a long overdue to make his appearance on Strip Down, but we have him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight on Strip Down, it's Michael Gamble. out to my brothers can't forget about my sisters too we've all built walls around us now it's time to tear them down it's time to stop living in denial we've only got the truth to face and what it is well you know I'm not so sure but I guess we'll know someday
You're watching Strip Down. We're spending 60 minutes with Michael Gamble. Welcome to Strip Down, Michael. Thank you for having me here, sir. Again, as I mentioned off the top, it's taken a long time to get you on the show, which is odd because you're such a musical presence in Saskatoon. Oh, I thanks, see man. your name everywhere. I see you on stage with other musicians, yet somehow this is the first time we've really actually met. Yeah, yeah. So, Michael Gamble, 2011. Yeah, man. What's, what's going on? You're busy. You New just, album. You are just putting in long days. Very long days, man. That was what you were telling me right before we started rolling. It's been, it's been busy for you these yeah. last few days. Yeah, it's, well, actually for the past couple months, like literally, uh, well, starting in December, I was on tour with Andrew Menard. We got off that, uh, you know, Christmas, family, blah, blah, yep. blah, 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 blah. I like to lock myself away, but can't. It's family, right? So we, we finish up December into January, start the pre-production on my album. February comes around, we're in the studio recording, we're in there for two weeks, got the uh, six song EP finished, and uh, from there we're off to Edmonton to work on the National Aboriginal Achievement Awards. I was uh, for a good week out there, and hit the ground running, man. And you got a lot going on right now, <laughs> tell me about the awards. Oh, the awards are fabulous, man. It's, uh, it's the 18th year that this award show is running. The National Aboriginal Achievement Foundation honors 14 recipients in many different fields on and all aboriginal inuit metis and first nations uh in in business uh commerce education uh arts music it's, it's really really cool i'm guessing you're no stranger to the awards no i think it's uh i think this is our eighth year working on it yeah yeah it's a lot of fun it's like it's like it's like family man well yeah what's the experience like well you know when I first started out with it, I was so green. I, I started out as just a, a guy running microphones out to the stage, and then they realized that, oh, he has a little bit more potential. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we started with that, and then, you know, it rolled up and uh, eventually started working with the host because you need wranglers on a show, right? And mm -hmm. you need to have somebody on cue constantly, constantly. And that's where uh, I've been working the past few years, and this year was... Uh, no different than last. I uh, worked with Adam Beach, who's uh, you know no stranger to television and movies and mm -hmm. the big uh, big Hollywood star. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah, so it's tons of fun, man. It wouldn't change that for anything, man. That's what's one of the things during the year that I look to the most because, like I said, it's like family. You go out there, it's like hugs and you know it's work, but it doesn't feel like work. What's the best not. experience you walked away with from there? From there, confidence, man. Yeah, confidence. Just seeing all these people, like I said, fourteen recipients in their in their given categories, watching the performers on stage who are who are stars in their own right. Like this year, we had country star Shane Yellowbird mm -hmm. as one of the artists, and you know, watching him perform, watching how he carries himself as a as a true professional on and off stage, and uh, just it, you you take so much from that. And you know, you, I try to incorporate everything I learn on this show, not only this show, but many other shows in my everyday life, how I approach people and, and business and performing as well, too. How many doors musically did that open up Well, all the people you've met down there? Well, it's, it's a tough thing, right? I've got, this is my second album. Everybody knows I play. Yeah. And uh, like I said, it, it is work when we're out there. We're always shopping. We're always like, yeah, hey, check this out. Check this out, man. You know, have a listen. That's a given. Give me some, give me some feedback. <laughs> so... I have met people, and it has brought me on to other shows. It has got me other work, uh, not in terms of playing, but in terms of stage managing and producing and uh, working on other festivals, you know, lending my expertise, and also as a guitar player, getting work, you know. That's where I met Andrew Menard, hometown girl. She's like, we got to talk someday. we got to talk someday. It was always crossing each other backstage, saying yeah. hello. Finally, I found out, hey, man, you live in Saskatoon. Here's my number. Call me up sometimes if you need a guitar player. Lo and behold, that's what happened, man. And now my wife is working with her full time, so it's pretty cool. I play guitar with her. Andrea Menard is kind of on the same level where I saw her everywhere, and I didn't actually shake her hand and say hi to her until this past summer. Yeah, I was really intimidated. I don't know why. I mean, I, I talk to you know celebrities every day. I have the the regular nine to five job here at Shaw, where I'm the arts and entertainment yeah. reporter. But for some reason, I was really I wasn't expecting her to be mean or anything, mm -hmm. but I was really intimidated to talk to her. And yeah, she's like the nicest lady in the world. She is. She is. I mean, so down to earth, you know. I, what I did when I got to meet her, I just went and knock on her door. I said, you know what, I want some advice. She's like, come on in, come sit down, have some tea. Sat down by her fire and 
you know, we talked, and little did I know that what she's doing is exactly what I'm doing. She's just on a higher level because she's got more more irons and many fires, mm -hmm. right, as uh, an actress and a, a writer. We were introduced by mutual friends at the uh, jazz festival last year, and I was like, Andrea Menard. And she immediately just got down and started playing with my five-year-old son and having the time for life. I was like, that's a really cool lady. Yeah, man, she's down to earth totally. We, we uh, bring our dogs over all the time to yeah. play with her dog, and, you know, it's just... It's fun. It's well, so we're not fun. spending an hour talking about Andrew Menard. We're spending an hour talking about Michael Gamble. So, that being said, why don't we go to song number two before we take our first commercial yeah, break. But before we go to song number two, let's go back and let's recap song number one. What was it? What was it about? Song number one was Love, Love, Love. The song started out about two years ago, maybe three years ago. I actually wrote it in this little tiny bar. I was playing in the middle of winter, minus 40. Nothing to do when sat by a pool table. Just me. I'm the only guy in a club. I started playing, and I come up with this riff. I went through rewrite after rewrite after rewrite, and then finally it clicked back in, like, September, October. I had the basis of it when I was sitting on a dock in uh, southern Quebec, and I was like, hey, okay, deal with this in the fall. And then in the fall, I was going to bed, and I keep a notebook by my, by my nightstand, and I popped up, and my wife's like, what's going on? I said, I got it. I got it. It's love, love, love that makes the world go round. That's what this song is about, love, right? And then uh, it was also influenced by Andrea Menard. There she is again. Back, back uh, to Andrea. Back to Andrea. <laughs> I was stealing the limelight. Uh, it, was, it took forever to come up with the song, but the, it was also written about love, but also about my family, watching my friends who are, like the one line says, I see my friends who are living their lives. They're persevering and they're pushing ahead and they know where I want to be. So I was like, hey, man, tip of my hat to my buddies. And, you know, it's all about love, man. That's what makes the world go round. It really is. There you go. For future guests of Stripped Down, that right there is the answer I'm looking for. Ask you what the song's about. That was, that was like a dream answer <laughs> for, for the host of this show. That's, a, that's always what I expect people to say. But usually I just get, I just sit down and write music, and it just comes out. I'm like, all right. <laughs> what you know, man, is true. Right. But yeah. Crickets. Great story. Okay, so song number two now. Song number two. I think uh, I'm going to play a song called... You're looking uh, at a set list that doesn't exist. Oh, man, check You're it out. At, oh, okay. Five guitars here. They all have these names <laughs> on them. Because um, they're all written on these guitars, right? So this song is called Loving You. It's called the Hey, Hey song. Feel free to sing at home. <laughs> okay. It goes, hey, 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 hey. It's really I think easy. We got man. that. I'll yeah, try to see if we can put the bouncing ball on it. 16. Yeah, yeah, that'd All be right. awesome. The Hey Hey song I wrote for my wife. It's called Loving You. Take it away, Michael Cool, Gamble. man.
shore And every day is an open door And all I want for you is to be happy Loving you, loving me Loving you, loving me You're watching Strip Down with Michael Gamble again. That was the Hey Hey song. And we have to gear up for our first commercial break, but stick around because we got lots more with Michael Gamble. We're going to talk about this crazy, awesome microphone that made our sound guy, Bennett Dobney, very happy. We're going to talk about your love of guitars, obviously. Mm. And we'll probably mention Andrew Menard about 100 more times. <laughs> All that's coming up as we continue spending 60 minutes with Michael Gamble. You're watching Strip Down. polar bear. And as much as we wouldn't want to run into him face to face, we also wouldn't want to see anything threaten his existence. Hard to believe an animal this big needs our help. But even though the polar bears live far away in the remote Arctic, we are having a negative impact on their lives. Our pollutants travel the oceans and atmosphere and enter their food chain. Plus climate change is causing the ice they live on to melt earlier each spring. This makes it more difficult for the bears to catch their prey. If you're wondering how you can help, simple things like riding your bike, walking, or taking the bus instead of driving will do a lot for our environment and the polar bears. But that's just a start. If you go to hww.ca, you can learn more about polar bears and find ideas on how to help protect Canada's wildlife. That's hww.ca. stuff goes once it's flushed down the toilet. It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? You are watching Strip Down. We're spending 60 minutes with local singer-songwriter Michael Gamble. How's it feeling so far? We're about 20 minutes in. Really good. Man. Yeah, you have really a good time. Oh yeah, man, it's fun banter. You know, good, <laughs> it's good crew. Good. 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 good crew, man. No one compliments me on my banter. Yeah, Thank it's, you. It's good, man. Really it's digging really this. Good. Really good. I love the. You know, this is what the show originally was, and I tell the story every time we have one guy, one guitar, because it's so rare these days. But the first 10 or 12 episodes we did, this is what the show was. It was stripped down. Yeah, yeah. It was a guy with a, an acoustic guitar. Yeah. And then people got really talented here, and they was like, hey, we should see what happens when we plug in. It was actually Josh Palmer. He was ah. the first person that brought his band, and we're like, right. I'm going to plug in, I but he's a that. crazy audio guy, so he knows what he's doing. Yeah, man. And then we learned from him, and now it's mostly bands, which is cool. Yeah. But I really like when we actually strip it down yeah. and do this every no once wires, in a while. Eh? No wires, eh? No wires. Just like man. that. And which brings us to the next crazy thing. Tell me about your microphone that made. I don't see a lot making our audio guy, Bennett Dobney, excited. Bennett Dobney was excited by that microphone. Yeah. All those guys out there in Techland are going to be like, ah, it's just a C1. That's nothing. But, man, you know, I've watched a show, and if you're going to work with acoustics, and you're going to do, do vocals and strip it down. Yeah. You need to strip it down to just that, man. 
So Clarity, the next stripped right? down fundraiser we have, that's what we should spend our money on? Yeah, man. Yeah? Do it. Okay. Do it, do it. We can help you out. Let's bridge from that into your love of guitars. I'm probably in the way, but you've been one of the best people to work with setting up a show. No, oh, cool. You came in, said, I'm not going to plug in. I'm going to bring one microphone. <laughs> I don't want to monitor. <laughs> I'm going to bring six guitars, but no DIs. Tell me about your guitar collection. Naked. Well, I am by no means a rich man, but I love guitars. My dad started me on my love of my guitars when I was like two. There's a shot of me at home wearing cowboy boots that are up to here. Okay. A curly cord stuck in my mouth, plugged to his amplifier. I don't know where that picture is, but it's in my head because I, I remember seeing it like yeah. 10, 15 years ago. And my dad was the one who, you know, fostered guitar in me and always, always. To this day, my dad has still bought me guitars. I'm 35 years old, man, and he's, he's seen this guitar. We popped into Mother's Music. I was going to go trade off this one for that one. And he said, why don't you just go tell them to put it, a, put it behind a counter so they don't, don't sell, sell it. it. So we get to the counter, and he, and he puts down his card. And he goes, does that come with a case? I was like, what? So he bought me that guitar. He bought me another one when uh, my first album had a song I could go to number one across Canada. And as a celebration, so he even bought me this black Telecaster, which is so cool. I love you, Dad, for that, and you know that, and you're always in my thoughts and prayers every night when I go to bed and I wake up in the morning. But guitars, man, you know, they're not fancy, but they do the trick. Mainly keep them around, because if I wrote a song on a guitar, that's what I'm going to use. It's just, it's just, and they're beautiful to look at, I mean, <laughs> right? Let's play a guitar. Every guitar, man, is beautiful let's, to look let's at. Let's go to song number three. Sure, man. I'm guessing uh, a lot of the stuff from the old album, but some of it from the new album? Yeah, well, the first two songs are from, from the new album. Okay. And this next pair of songs we're going to do is, uh, are from uh, Volume 1. That okay. was the name of the album. So this one... We'll uh, talk about Volume 1 in between the next two songs. Cool, How about that? All right, what it. is this? This one is called Feel All Right. Take it away, Michael Gann. Slow down, my darling, don't shed no tears.
trip down with Michael Gamble. We teased it. Let's talk about Michael Gamble, Volume One. Treated you pretty well. Yeah, man. Really, really well. Um, what was the year? What was the circumstances? 2008 was when I did the album. Yeah. Started in 2006, actually. That's when the seed was sown. I went out to Gimli, Manitoba. Yep. I was funded through the Saskatchewan Arts Board to attend AMP Camp, funded by Manitoba Music, or put on by Manitoba Music, Aboriginal Music Program. This camp brought artists from all over the country, every corner of the country, out to Gimli. Songwriting, stage presence, vocal coaching, you name it, every part of the business, right? We had people, we had uh, Kenny Starr, Billy Joe Green, wicked guitar player, right? Um, it all went down in Gimli. It all went down in Gimli, man. We rented this lodge. and <laughs> So you rented Gimli. Yeah, we rented <laughs> Gimli yeah, for a week, man. It was awesome. You know, it's a great program. And at that time, I had only written two songs. And one of them was the one I just played. And you know, another one is this uh, blues song called I'm Your Man. So started there, right? Came home and I thought, you know what? I see these guys, man. They're writing songs, and that's the way to make it. I mean, you can play cover songs all you want, mm -hmm. it's all your life. They're fun to do, right? Mm -hmm. That's stuff that influences us. Sometimes you got to make your ends meet by playing cover songs. There's, I got nothing against that. But for me, if I want to survive in this industry, I've got to, I got to sell me. I got to sell the songs I write. I got to, I got to do that. I got to be out there. Being on a show is one way of doing that too. So. Coming home, I thought, I told my wife, I was like, got to write songs, got to write songs. And I'm influenced by all sorts of things, and I'll just write whatever I feel. Sometimes I'll sit down on my computer and, and just do this, and there's a song, cut and paste, drag, cut and paste, and there's a song. It might just stay there for a year or two. Mm -hmm. might, I might actually demo it. But came home, did that, got funding through the Saskatchewan Arts Board to record my first project, which I did down at uh, Tony Kazoo's old studio, High Voltage. Yep. Yeah, and it was a... Uh, it was a good experience, to say the least. I learned a lot. Okay. So my second project comes around this past year, and uh, I incorporated all those teachings that I had th at that time. But Volume 1, you know, I had uh, songs play on NBC, Mississippi Broadcasting Corporation out of Prince Albert. I had a song, uh, the next song I'm going to play, actually, Forget About You, went to number one on there for, I think it was six weeks or something like that. And then uh, the bluesier song, I'm Your Man, went on to the Aboriginal Top 30, which is broadcast right across yeah. Canada on NCI, and uh, started out at number 29. It was like a slow climb. I think it took 22 weeks to finally get to the number one position, which I held for two weeks, which was cool. And yeah. I had a friend of mine who was, we were like this, up that, that oh, ladder, nice. man, all the way, all the way, and uh, props out to Tracy Bone. I love you. So, yeah, man, that's what, this it, it uh, got me recognize a bit right from what you were talking about before about you know being forced to play covers uh director jay newfeld and i always have this you know one of our things we want we want to happen on strip down and we've never said this on air before is we want like a really young band to come on and say that you know getting on strip down was one of their goals and they were watching it like three years ago right yeah how rewarding would it be to have someone do a cover song of yours oh that'd be pretty cool is that, man. Is that on your yeah, list man, that, that, you want experience well, I've, I've actually started uh, collaborating songwriting, okay. right? And to me, that's, that's sort of that, that start of that, right? That's the catalyst. So if somebody sings a song of mine that I've collaborated on, if it's, even if it's half my song, yeah. that's cool, man. Awesome. Right? That's, that's really cool. But I've had people email me about uh, one of the songs, well, a couple songs on the album. Uh, the, first, the title track on Volume 1 is called Blues of Red, the RCMP song, which was a tribute to the two slain RCMP officers, Mark Bordage and Robin Cameron. She was my first cousin. Oh. This had all gone down while I was in the studio, right? And this is like yeah. in my head every day, man. It's like news, news, news. Every, every turn, it was that in the news. So I went into the studio and I just hammered that thing out and wrote the, scripted out what was recurring, right, in the news headlines, two RCMP officers shot. You know, there's a manhunt, you know, armed and dangerous. You're going to have to quit telling interesting stories. We're running out of time. We've got to get all your music <laughs> in. We've got like five more songs to do so and not cool a whole lot of time. Cool, so let's just, let's just jump into music.
It'll That's be music deep, heavy the second half of the show, let me tell you. Cool, man. That's <laughs> right. good. Stories so back fun. to volume one for this next song. Yeah. Um, this song's called uh, Forget About You. Forget About You. Yeah, man. Take it away, Michael Gamble. You got it, man. Watching Strip Down with Michael Gamble. We have to take our second commercial break, and yeah, I think we're really running out of time. So there'll be lots of music in the second half of the okay. show coming up right after this. following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. <music> 617 8th Street East Saskatoon on the web at mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Euromoto. <music> 204 3rd Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon. 664-6640. The word spreads around and around, so we gon' catapult into your town. Hold it, we about to take the rhythm up and away, and leave the critics up with nothing to say. The word spreads around and around, so we gon' catapult into your town. Hold it, we about to take the rhythm up and away, and leave the critics up with nothing to say. Yeah, we're flossing out the twisting, the rock and roll can be balanced. I'm not your bristle like chicken and salad. Once it's gone down the storm sewer, 
It's carried by pipes under the street and dumped into our lakes and rivers. The trouble is, excess chemicals from our yard and parks and oil and gas spills from the street also gets washed down the storm sewer and end up in our waterways. These bodies of water are home to fish and wildlife and often is where we get our drinking water. Some cities are dealing with the problem by holding the water in ponds first, while natural processes absorb many of the pollutants. We can do our part by not over-fertilizing or over-watering our lawns. We can also keep our cars tuned up so they don't leak oil and clean them in a car wash so we don't send detergent into our waterways. It's our turn to take care of this planet and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Gamble. When you let the light shine in down on your soul, radiate like a star above. Wandering around the moon So far off and high above For all the world to see Fearless wonder is what you are An inspiration to me Time is all we have got, and with love that's all that matters. Do unto others as you would want done unto you. Men will fight and try to conquer love, and we have to rise above. Show them the love, show them the care, let them know there's a better way. When you You're watching Strip Down. We're spending 60 minutes with Michael Gamble. And that song there was? Your Light. Your Light. I wrote that for my wife. Nice. Yeah. I'm almost afraid to ask you and launch into a story because, again, we've just gone so... <laughs> you have such great stories. <laughs> just, <laughs> such an amazing talker. I'm not, I'm well, not used to that. No disrespect to the last 110 uh, artists and bands we've had on Strip Down. But, yeah. Banter is fun. Banter is a good yeah, time. Man, and look at that. It was a seamless guitar switch. Yeah, man. Uh, let's recap the current project, the new album. That's taking up all your time right now. Yeah. Happy yeah. with it so far? I was reading your bio, but totally. I don't think it's that updated, which is one of the questions you asked, because you were looking for a January release date originally. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, it was. Got pushed back. It was that tour. Yeah. It was that Andrea tour, right? Yeah. See, she's coming she's back. back. She's back again. She's back. So, yeah, um, it was because of that that we pushed it back. Okay. I dissolved my band, hired session artists. Okay. They had to learn the songs, right? So I wrote out all the parts. And then, uh, yeah, that was, that was basically why it took long. And uh, now we're shooting for April 1st. Okay. Yeah. It's coming yeah. along, though? Are you happy with the way? Oh, yeah, yeah, totally Not happy. Not too many stumbles, roadblocks? Not that I can see. I know so many people that, you know, about a month in, they just start to hate their music. Yeah. And they hate the experience. Well, man, we took, we went in. I said, I want, I have this amount of money. Yep. Thank you, Saskatchewan Arts Board. Love you for that. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah, man. We uh, had so much money to work with. Yep. So I had so much time I could buy, right? I got to hire my session artist, too. Make okay. everybody happy. So, yeah, we cut it down nice and short. And uh, I'm quite happy. Did it at Glenn Ross Studios here in Saskatoon. Awesome. Ross, Glenn, yep. you're wicked. They lent their talents to the album as well, too. So, how, happy, right? how does it compare to Volume 1 so far? Is it going to be There's shockingly sh different? Direction. Yeah? Direction. I wrote this album with direction, right? Thematically, it's like love and life. Okay. The first one was just, you know, this is where I'm at. I was actually going to call it. This is where I'm at. <laughs> and then I think it's uh, I think it's George Leach, a guitar player from uh, BC, great blues guy. Mm -hmm. I think his album is called that. So I was like, no, uh, can't call it that. Yeah, it's already fast. taken. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with it because sonically, mm -hmm. it came out very well. Uh, the session artist who played on it, uh, Kevin Adair on bass guitar with Rattlesnake Romeo. Friday night, Saskatoon Buds. There's your props, dude. Talis Scott. Talis Scott. Yeah, man. Violent Kin. Currently on tour with yeah, one of yeah. our crew members. Oh, cool. Bryn Kreisa. Nice. He's yeah. playing bass for Violent Kin right now on tour, who's also a member of Pirate Fridays, the band that consists of a lot of crew members here. Yeah, nice, man. It's We're such a small thing. I know. It's, it's, it's wonderfully small. I know. It's great. Everywhere you go, man. Other than that song about walking away, all your songs have just been really positive. Oh, cool, man. Is that important to you? A positive uh, message? Is yeah. that what you bring to the table? Well, for, for like I said, this album, man, I, yeah. I, want, I want it to be positive. I had direction, and I wanted to stay on that path. But my, you know what? There's a couple. There's one dark song on this album. It's called Song For You. I may play that, uh, but... Okay. You know. Well, we got three songs left, and cool, we're running man. out of time. So cool. you did a guitar change? Yeah, man, I'm going to do got a song. Got something new coming now? This one's called... Um, this one's called You Say. It's off Volume 1. Okay. I actually did two versions of it, and I'm going to play the, the alternate version. The alternate version? Yeah, alternate, alternate version. Hmm. I feel like we're having a stripped down exclusive. I'm not doing a Cobain style, but, uh, <laughs> you know. All right. Yeah, man. You Say. Cool. Take it away. Sky 
You're watching Strip Down with Michael Gamble. We have to take our last commercial break, but stick around. We wrap up with this amazing local singer-songwriter coming up right after this. To your boys, a fin makes a dear from Sandy and out of choice. The following sponsors are proud to support local community programming on Shaw. Mother's Music. <music> 617 8th Street East Saskatoon on the web at mothersmusic.com. Ultimo Euromoto. <music> 204 3rd Avenue South in downtown Saskatoon. 664-6640. once it's flushed down the toilet. It travels down pipes under our streets to a sewage treatment plant. There it is cleaned up through a variety of processes before it is sent back out in our lakes or rivers. The problem occurs when people flush things down the toilet like makeup, cleaning supplies, and some pharmaceuticals that the sewage treatment plant can't clean up. They are dumped untreated into our waterways, which other people depend on for their drinking water. Some cities continue to dump their sewage untreated into our waterways, while others are using innovative thinking to reuse sewage byproducts as fertilizer. What can you do? Be sure to properly dispose of any chemicals or unused medicine at your city's hazardous waste disposal site. It's our turn to take care of this planet, and I think we can do a better job. What do you think? Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Gamble. Awesome. Quick finish. Yeah, man. And speaking of quick finishes, ah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> we are wrapping things up with Michael Gamble. Uh, man, we blew through so much time tonight. Heck of a talker, heck of a conversationalist. Indeed. 
conversationalist. Yeah. You're a better yeah. talker than I am You'll tonight. Spit it out soon I'll, I'll get it. It's my first night. Uh, you want to talk about really quick uh, giving back, obviously. Not surprising. You give back. You're helping out with the school system. Last year, I was, uh, I was fortunate to be part of a program which was called the Treaty Smarts Program. Okay. We were in schools. Uh, there was a few other artists who were uh, part of this grant. I happened to be at Silverwood Heights, kindergarten to grade eight. I think there was like uh, two grade fives and <laughs> yeah, okay. two grade eights. It's crazy. And we did, uh, the teachers there were incorporating treaties into their curriculum. With that, the Treaty Smarts Program brings a guy like me in who plays guitar mm -hmm. and, and uh, song rights. And uh, we wrote songs and they were based on blues. So we sort of ran the format uh, similar to what the Saskatoon Blues Society and a lot of blues societies across the continent do, mm -hmm. which is a blues of the school thing. We start with yep. history. So with them, I started current and I went backwards because a lot of these kids know who John Mayer is, right? Yeah. And then some of these kids who do play guitar know who Stevie Ray is. And then we go further, okay. Jimi Hendrix, Eric yeah. Clapton, and we went all the way back, and we did all, all the guys. And then uh, we started writing songs, and it was great. We did, uh, I don't know how many songs, um, but there's, a, there's supposed to be a book, and there's supposed to be an album with it. I haven't yet to see it. I wrote the foreword to the book. It was what, cool. What's it like being that guy? Pressure, man. Yeah. Pressure. See, I'm not, I'm not a teacher. I like kids from a distance. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, it was, it was like, how do you facilitate this first, oh. right? And then I realized, you know what? You got to go in. <clears throat> you got to be yourself. Mm -hmm. That's what it boils down to. The kids immediately want to connect and see, okay, this is, you know, he's not Mr. Gamble. So yeah. Just call me Michael. That's who I am. I'm not your teacher. I'm just Michael. So we, we became friends, right? It's telling stories, showing videos, and yeah, it was a great project. And a lot of these kids, I run into them all the time. I had 15 of them show up at a jazz festival last year. Hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. It's cool, man. It's, it's fun, man. When you see their their faces, and you know, I love the blues now. We could have done two hours tonight. Man, had yeah. I known, I would have walked a bigger time period. Once again. Thank you so much yeah, man, my for pleasure. coming on. Again, we're pretty much out of time. For all of the Michael Gamble information, where should people go? You can go to myspace.com slash Michael Gamble. Okay. You can also check out CBC Radio 3. Yeah. I've got a site on there, Sask, uh, Sask Music. And you're on the old Facebook as well? Yeah, I'm on Facebook as well. You can also just, uh, just Google Michael Gamble. It'll come M -Y -K -A -L -G -A -M -B -U -L -L. up. M-Y-K-A-L-G-A-M-B-U-L-L. Make sure the spelling is correct. Yeah. And we don't want to get into that story. Yeah, I don't want to talk about Planet S calling me Michael Gumball and... Yeah, uh, and the other Michael Gambles. So just, again, <laughs> we could have we went two hours. We could have, man. And I want to say before we wrap up, big thanks to the crew tonight. I mm -hmm. mean, the, the show has evolved, and so much of what we do now are full-on bands, and there's handheld, and there's movement, and then all of a sudden, to, you know, one guy, one guitar. It's a lot slower. And it looked amazing tonight. Cool, man. So hats off to the crew yeah, for man. after... Five Props or six weeks them. of back to back, three or four piece rock and bands to actually slow it back down and yeah. make it look brilliant. Strip and it gold. down. Strip it down. Yeah, Thanks. Man. Now I'm going to do more thank yous. Thanks to tonight's cast and crew. Thanks to our sponsors, Mother's Music, Ultimo Uramoda, and Mr. Sicily Pizza for all things stripped down. Go to Facebook, type in strip down, look for the dancing girl, and make sure you hit like and get all your friends to hit like. That's in order. Ladies and gentlemen, had a lot of fun tonight. For the last time tonight, Michael Gamble. Thank, Thank you, you so much, sir. My pleasure.
tell me now it's way too late Why do you wanna hurt me this way? Why do you wanna hurt me this way? Tell me the ways of the world Yet your back slides on your very words Love your neighbor with all your heart Yet you spew your dirty little thoughts And I'm not so blind that I cannot see You're all alone, you're not living free And I'm not so sure you want it this way Coming up this week on Strip Down, we got a brand new episode. It's been a long time coming. Finally, he graces the Strip Down stage. Ladies and gentlemen, this week on Strip Down, it's Michael Gamble. 